Get over here. <laughs> I feel like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> this is basically my Halloween costume, just my regular outfit. My COVID-19 slash hipster butternut squash fucking bitch made Halloween. You know what I'm saying? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello, welcome to uh, the new normal in 2020. Does anybody else's life look like this? I look like a robber every day of my life. And I also can never see because I get foggy lenses with my mask on. To any of those of you who actually wear like prescriptions out there, I feel VV bad for you. Cause let me tell you, it's hard to avoid the up steam. You know what I mean? All right, let's get some of this nonsense off and get to business. Okay, mask off. Okay, a couple things on the docket today. I'm just out and about doing some errands and I wanted to pop in for some Subway. I know that uh, Subway is a favorite of mine and it's certainly a favorite on this channel. Absolutely, I feel like people do, do really resonate with my Subway videos. Now, another thing to note is the dude inside was a G and he hooked me up with Sweet Onion and Chipotle Southwest into-go containers for a saucy guy. So, shout out that dude in there. But we got ourselves a foot long rotisserie chicken, my favorite new sub there. Ooh -wee. What's up? That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get into this. I'm not gonna lie, I've been craving this for honestly like weeks. This is like my jam jam lately. So, herb and cheese bread, absolutely necessary. The rotisserie chicken chunks, which is the new shit at Subway that's so good. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, pickle, onion, uh, green pepper, and banana peppers. And then this is the new truth that's happening apparently here is extra sauce on the side. Hooked it up. If you've never tried the rotisserie chicken, give it a go. I went in there. There's the OG employee, he hooked up the sauces. But I got the new guy, the man, man in training, man's in training. And the new guy, and the, the, the OG employee was kind of like cleaning around. He's like, go help him. Like, it's your time to fly. So, there's that rotisserie. You can see it there. So, I got the new guy. He was super timid, which is fine. I understand being nervous at new jobs and shit. You don't want to make an ass of yourself or screw up or whatever. And uh, it just brought so many flashbacks of like memories of just that new job energy. Where you're just nothing second nature immediately. You don't know how to like you don't have your systems in place, so just bang shit out. So normal subway workers, like, they cut it long, they pile it in there, boom, toasted, and then they just throw veggies on. We've all seen, like, an experienced subway worker. They're just, the best of them are magicians, but fast. Like the true Subway Sandwich University motherfuckers. Those ones are legit. When they like smash it together quick, but it still comes out looking pristine, they're a rare commodity. Then there's the people who 
just straight up. Just buckshot, spread shot the fucking, any, every vegetable and it comes out just a mess. We all know those ones. But this guy was a different case. And I think it worked only my benefit. Because he's so timid and intimidated because he's new, he was so meticulous at placing each vegetable. Exactly perfect. So the sandwich came out like neat, organized, aesthetic vibe. I just went back in to get the chips that I was forgotten to be given again. I swear to God, I've never had this much ridiculous luck with not getting what I ordered ever. So there's like a new curse on me that's happening, but you guys really think I forgot the chips? No, it's time for a chip break. So anyways, my man's was so meticulous but Loki Haiki I'm like that like you guys watch me put together food when I cook I'm all about that presentation and like everything kind of being in its perfect little compartment right Let's see how this is Southwest on Salt and Van. She works. So admittedly, when uh, when the rookie was cooking up my sub, initially I was like, I kind of low key wanna have OG do it, the big homie. But in the end, sandwich came out like perfect, like really well prepared. So, shout out to that. Now, he did do one rookie error that even I know, just having gone to Subway a lot of times. I got a foot long, and he. Before he loaded anything on it, he cut it into two six inches. And I know for a fact that a true sandwich pro, he'll learn it in due time. But a true sandwich pro, sandwich artist, uh, you cut it length 12 and you load that bitch up. You don't, you don't cut it until it's loaded, right? And yes, I'm currently loading the other half of this with these chips. Because it wouldn't be a proper sub if we didn't put the chips on it. A little taste from our friend DP, that pep. Cleanse the palate and go in for second half. But yeah, even I know that. You can't be premature cut, cut you laden, you know? You gotta lay the goods downtown and then you make the cut there we go we got chips in there now now it's official on that note though tell me if it ever happens to you you ever have it where you get it loaded up and then they do the cut after but they don't get all the way through and then you go to open it and all like the guts spill when you pull it Not a pro move. She's a crusty loaf today. Very crunchy. 
delicious. But very crunchy. I swear half the fun of making these carvids is trying to be a stealthy parker to get as much privacy as you can possibly afford yourself just so that you know Less interruption, less distraction. Less judgy eyes. And right now, I am blending in. Backed in beside this guy, who seems like he eats all his meals and spends all his time in life living in a van down by the local Walmart. <laughs> because I am, in fact, parked. Outside Walmart. <laughs> Man. This bread, the crust, foliage right now has me riled up. It's also a mess. Just bread dandruff. Oh wow. That is a no bueno. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love a good impromptu subway hit. Can't have dessert till you finish your chips. Imagine that was ever a rule. Bitch chips are my dessert though. Really though, no sweet sky. I'll take a salt and vinny over a cookie any day. Any day. It's just a fact. I tell you, society is different now, man. <laughs> Very different. <clears throat> it's a topic for a whole nother time, though. Uh-oh, I got security rolling by. Shit, I gotta go. <laughs> Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.